Hi and welcome to this video on the Cash Discount Professional on reporting and just a few other items. Okay, so for reporting, the first option you have is just tap this daily summary button on the on the main screen of the Cash, Cash Pro app. You tap daily summary right there and it's going to give you the numbers from midnight. Okay, and those are probably the most relevant numbers. It'll be broken down by employees if your system supports employees. Okay, and that's all you do right there, daily summary. Um, if you need more reporting than that, you can tap this button, get web reports. Okay. And you put in your email address. We will send you a website URL as, as an email so that you can just, per, you can click on that website and you'll be able to access a bunch of different reports. And you can pick a start date and an end date. And also with those reports, if you need the ability to choose a time, like the beginning time and end time, you can request that and we can add that feature for you. So there's a lot of reports available. If there's a report you need that we don't provide, then please let us know and we'll provide that also. Okay, so that's how the reports work. You can also see those same reports on the device. You tap view in the corner, reports. Okay, and what you do is you put in the manager pin code, in this case, I'm going to put in a pin code and see you can choose the date range first and this particular one we have the time settings enabled also but like I can pick this last week and I can choose the let's say the summary uh, tip summary discount fee report and I can do apply and run report there you go now this particular account there's no sales but that's how you would run a report if you're viewing this report from a website you would have the ability to download it or to print it to your printer or to save it as a PDF file. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the reporting aspects of Cash Discount Professional. Just let us know if you need anything else on those, um, on that reporting. Last thing I want to discuss with you is the SB478 with California. Okay. We do have multiple responses. One of those is that, um, SB478 applies mainly if your dual pricing is mandatory. Okay. So if you, if you have dual pricing and you don't make it mandatory in our guided setup, you do have the ability to enable opt out on the cash price. Okay. And what that'll do is you can just basically make your cash discount uh, or your dual pricing uh, optional, which is, I, as I understand the reading of SB 478, um, the dual pricing requirements mainly apply if you're, um, if you're applying something mandatory. So you could have like a little, a little registration where somebody, a customer can fill it out so that they opt out and then they're enabled to get cash pricing all the time or something if they want. Okay. So that's one response. The other is we do have a device that's available that you can request. Um, you know, it's a small charge, but uh, for the paying for the device and it'll plug into any HDMI output and it'll provide you dual pricing of whatever items in your inventory that you want to show dual pricing for. We also have a small white Clover tablet that can sit in front of your Clover and provide dual pricing real time as people are checking out. Okay. We do have the ability to show dual pricing real time on the duo as well as a cash and a card price. Okay. That is also in the app already. But if you need a special tablet to do that for SB478, we do have that as an option. Okay. So feel free to reach out. We can explain a lot of the num numerous other options we have, uh, but most of them you probably don't need. So, um, just reach out to us if you need anything. Thanks. Have a great day.